What's going on guys? So for today's arm workout, we're gonna be doing a little bit different variants on this. So you can see most of these are reps to failure with with the exception to the crazy sevens and the buddy curls. And I'll get to those when we get there. But everything else is reps to failure. And what that means is instead of doing like our standard 10 to 12 to 15 rep range, we're just gonna be going as many times or as many reps as we can every single set. So leaving nothing in the tank. So some of these are gonna be like on your first set, you're gonna hit 20 to 25 reps. And then on your fourth set, you'll see that you're only hitting eight to nine to maybe 10 reps. So push ourselves every time. I wouldn't recommend doing this workout each week and reason being it's not super beneficial for your muscle to be doing this every time. You don't want to tear your muscle this rough every time and you're actually going to see negative results and you're going to cause injury. The reason we're doing it today is because I've noticed that I've kind of hit this plateau with my arms where they're not really growing anymore, they're not getting any more lean and I think it's just because I'm too used to my rep ranges. So trying to mix it up a little bit, reps to failure. So. Hope you guys like this video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this workout. All right, guys, let's jump into this workout. So for this first working set, we're gonna be doing preacher curls on a machine. I like using machine rather than the the pad where you can just throw your arms over with the weight. I think you can control the weight a little bit better when it's on a machine, you have that anchor point. So a good tip on this one is you can see my legs aren't, I'm standing, I'm not sitting on the bench. It just gives a little bit different angle. Give it a shot, I think you'll really like it. So arms a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. And then on this, remember we're just doing reps to failure. So four sets of this. This next workout is gonna be a skull crusher. If you haven't done these before, I would suggest doing them a little bit lighter. This is, I mean, fairly heavy. My first few sets were heavier, but this does get really tough. So if you need a drop weight on each set, that's probably smart. You can notice that my elbows and from my elbow to my shoulder, that whole area of my arm isn't moving. So the only thing that's moving is elbow to my hands. So make sure you're fixing that part of your arm so you aren't moving, you're not swinging. And then obviously be careful with this. It is called a skull crusher, so you can drop it on your head if you're not careful. Again, four sets, reps to failure. This next workout's kind of a fun one if you haven't tried it before. People call these 21s or crazy sevens. So we're doing seven lower reps. So you can see that this first area is going my lower rep area. So seven of those. The next one is gonna be seven high reps. So it's gonna be the second part of the full rep and then we're going to be seven seven full reps and that's going to be one full set so we're going to be doing four sets of that i like to grab on the outside of the bar you can grab on the inside if you like that a little bit more i think i just feel it a little bit better on the outside and then on this next one it's going to be the tricep extensions on the trx bands find something you can use not all gyms will have these but get creative with it. You could even do it on like a Smith machine, put the bar low. And then again, notice how my arms aren't moving from my shoulder to my elbow. I'm only moving that elbow to wrist section of my arm. That's just gonna target more of the tricep. Okay, so buddy curls. So what this is, you can see that my buddy and I are doing one, one rep and then passing it, one rep, passing it, and then two reps. I'm on two, he's on three, I'm on three. So what we're gonna do, we're going to be doing is we're gonna be doing that pyramid rep is what it's called, all the way up to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're gonna come back down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This gets really, really tough, and it's really easy to cheat these if you're not careful. So my tip on this is make sure that, just like any other bicep curl, you wanna keep your elbows in front of your uh, like torso area. You just don't wanna cock your elbows back. And you'll see a lot of people do that, almost like a drag curl. And that's, that's not really the point of this exercise. You're not gonna be getting too much of a shoulder or a, a bicep exercise if you do that. You will be getting more of your shoulder because you'll be noticing that you're pulling it up almost like an upright row. So be really careful on these. It is easy to cheat especially when you're getting into the higher rep range because you are so exhausted. 
So keep your elbows in front of your rib cage, in front of your torso. Don't let, don't let them come back. And just like any of the tricep workouts, where I'm keeping that shoulder to elbow fixed, so not swinging it. Too many times you'll see people swing their whole body to be getting those reps. You can kind of tell in these last reps, it is kind of easy to do that. So we're only going to be doing one set of this because it is really, really taxing on our biceps. Just make sure we're really, really squeezing at the top, getting that really, really good flex, and you'll see a lot of results from these. This is single-handedly the best workout you can do to get that really, really insane bicep pump. All right, guys, for this last workout, it's gonna be a tricep dip. Put two benches really close to each other just so you can kind of get in the middle of them. And again, with your shoulders to your elbows, try to fix that. It is a little bit harder with this because it is just the way that your body is. Um, reps to failure, four sets of this. So really hope you guys like this video. If you do, please leave it a thumbs up and then subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more content.